please don't adjust your sets. The distortion is in the program. And it's gonna get worse before it get better. Cause here come the news, here come the news. Hold the phone, folk, cause here come the news. <laughs> In a way, we hope we'll amuse, use. We just love to give you our views. La da di da, ladies and gents, laughing looks at the news. Here's Dan. Wow, oh, <laughs> no, the news of the present. Here's the man to whom the news wouldn't be the news without the news. Here's what's his face. In Europe, a knotty political problem arose today amongst the Warsaw Pact nation when Poland accidentally invaded itself. <laughs> and further north in England, Prince Charles continues to do well at Oxford University, where he is minoring in higher mathematics and majoring in King. <laughs> Finally, in Washington, D.C., the Federal Aviation Agency today gave its Achievement of the Year Award to Cuba for their solution of the stacking problem over New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles. <laughs> Meanwhile, Fidel Castro is asking Moscow for help in clearing up the stacking problem of hijacked planes over Havana Airport. <laughs> Take it away, Goldie! From 20 years from now, here's Laughing Presents from Dan Rowan, direct from over there. Dan, I mean Dick. Oh, you got it wrong again. <laughs> Sorry, Goldie, I'll try to do better next week. California, 1989, 20 years from now, President-elect Ringo Starr, today we voice concern over the worldwide population explosion. While vacationing at Long Beach, Mr. Starr said he swam a hundred yards out and found the people speaking Chinese. <laughs> Hollywood 1989, avant-garde filmmaker Andy Warhol Jr. today shocked the entire film world with his new movie, Orgy Girl, which features a love scene between two fully clothed people. In its defense, Warhol said the clothed scene was done in excellent taste, and besides, it will only be shown in foreign markets. <laughs> Finally, this item, 1989, 20 years from now. At last it happened. There was peace in the world today. Not a shot fired, not a threat, not an unhappy sound. Today, at last, there was peace in the world. Unfortunately, only lasted a few seconds while everybody reloaded. <laughs> Send. Laughing News takes you back to ancient Egypt, which is now in progress. What news, oh great prophet? Well, my fellow chosen people, it is with a heavy heart that I tell you we are going to leave this place and go on to a promised land. Oh, Palestine on the banks of the Nile. No, Texas on the banks of the Perdinales. <laughs> For all the bull you can bear, laughing takes you to Wall Street. Whoops! <laughs> Blow in my ear, and I'll play guitar for you all night long. Uh -huh. Well, now, Mildred and I have managed to build our life savings into a tidy sum. Mm -hmm. What we want is a secure investment in some good, safe stocks. Excellent! That's our specialty here at Les Vogel, Wasserman, Bagelman, London, and Panage. We are prepared for any economic development. Now, I have two investment plans. One is for good times, and one is for bad times. Oh, that makes sense, oh, doesn't yes. it, dear? Good times and bad times. Good. Now, let's say the nation is engulfed in riots and looting. We invest in window glass. Or should there be some natural disaster such as a flood, we invest just into rubber boats. Or if the war becomes a serious problem, we shoot for armaments. Get it? Yes, but 
What if there are no disasters and no riots mm -hmm. and the war ends? Ah, oh, that brings us to plan B. Bad times. <laughs> and now just back from the Bulgarian National Yo-Yo Finals, here's the biggest yo-yo of them all, Alan Seuss with the sports. Oh. Ah. Big Al here. <laughs> Featurette. Don't you love that? Today I witnessed the thrilling ice boat races on Lake Michigan. Frightful. The lead boat crashed through the ice, and the driver turned blue. Imagine that, blue, and with an orange shirt. Clash, clash, criminal, and frigid. Oh, it's more than a body can stand. Ta-ta. Oh, I hate the whole thing.